And you don't have to be a NASCAR fan to know about this recent crash. Amazingly, the driver was not injured. Well, it turns out what happens on the track can actually help you be safer on your drive, say, to the grocery store. 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger went to Colorado's NASCAR team for Nitro Racing. And Marshall, lessons learned on the track are used in everyday cars. From seat belt placement to safety, we can't see behind the shell of a car. What happens on the track helps make our drive safer. But for ultimate safety, if you want to avoid as much injury as possible, your driver's seat might have to look more like this child's car seat. Wild ride. It's a car crash that got noticed beyond just NASCAR fans. The number three car going airborne at 200 miles an hour. Thumbs going up. The driver, Austin Dillon, walked away. We build for the worst case scenario, absolutely. Joe Garoni is the general manager for Denver based Furniture Row Racing. The number 78 car has also had eye catching safety lessons of its own. And this kid's ugly. Watch his thing. One of the reasons why manufacturers are involved in auto racing, it's not just to sell cars, it's also to increase the safety. You may not realize, but what happens on the track helps build your next car. Where NASCAR has a visible roll cage, yours is hidden. They build a structure in the body itself, right in the body panels, to help strengthen the roof panels and the doors. A recent change for NASCAR, seven seat belts attached to the driver's seat and not the body of the car like what we drive. You have your shoulder harnesses, you've got lap belt, You've got the submarine belt. You'd really like the seat belt to go with the driver, not with the car. It's similar technology, like what's used in child car seat. While keeping you more secure, I guess I did have it in. I found out using it is a bit tricky. Well, after about three minutes of getting into the car and needing help to get just like this, I kind of get it now. The auto manufacturers have a lot of other things to look at. They have to make a car appealing to a consumer. It's it's got to be comfortable. It's got to be easy to get in and out of. Now, a seatbelt is a great thing, but imagine if you were just going to buckle yourself up in something like this. We all know how long it takes to get a kid situated into one of these uh, in the back seat, but just imagine how long it would take you just to get yourself into something like this just to go to the store. It's really the trade-off between convenience and over-the-top safety. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News.